Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Broadway. Um, I'm Nicole. I had duodenal switch weight loss surgery on December 14th, 2015. I weighed 357 on the day of surgery. It is currently May 25th, 2016, a little over five months since my surgery, and I now weigh 240. That is quite a lot of weight I've lost, not including the 40 pounds I lost before surgery um, so that I could safely have it. So I'm feeling like a new woman, looking a bit like a new woman. Uh, malabsorption rates and all that good stuff and my hair falling out. It still looks all right, you know. But the end game, I guess, is not to look good. The end game is to feel good. And um, it's easy to forget that in this day and age on various social medias and stuff. You know, it's easy to not want to film a video on certain days because I'm feeling unpretty or too big it's you know trying to remember all of the positive reasons I had this surgery in the first place and I'm so glad I made these videos that I can go back and watch because I remember the place I was coming from and and now that I'm here or getting there on this journey um it's helping me keep the course stay the track stay the course I, I think I just blended to um, anyway, so not a lot to report on this video. Not much has happened, but no news is good news, in my opinion. Um, we are all settled finally in Montana. The animals love it. I'm going back to visit my friends and family for about a month in this summer, in June. I'm so excited. I miss them all, and I can't wait to experience fun summer things in Texas that require energy that I never had before, so I never did, and now I'm going to, um, and just to be around my friends and family is exciting, you know, um, I've been working on my book a lot because I'm not focused on food, and my best friend Heather has been helping me with it, reading it, and giving me her opinions, and, um, she's been helping a lot, so it's just a lot of fun, just slow, easy pace of life out here, it's definitely not the big city. I live an hour outside of the nearest small town and like an hour 45 minutes from the nearest big town that has a Walmart in it. So it is a different monster up here. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. It's quiet, but it's lonely. And I'm a social butterfly. You know, I was always throwing parties and wanting to hang out with friends and, you know, go have dinner, just do stuff. And I miss that. So I'm hoping going to Texas will leave me missing Montana. It would be a nice feeling to miss this place. Yeah. Because I do. I'm homesick. I'm so homesick. But that's okay. It's expected. Just, you know, an adventure in life that I'm having that I knew I may not love 100%, but I was going to love the adventure 100%. So that's what I'm doing. And um, my husband loves it. My sister, my brother-in-law. So I'm so glad they're happy. Because I feel like I was really happy in this city, and they're really happy out here. So um, the ultimate goal is to one day be able to just travel between a country house and a city house, you know, easily, financially stable and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, so feeling great. And here is some pictures I took of myself today in a tiny itty bitty dress. So those were the pictures and feeling good. Um, yeah, I don't have any, anything else to report. Everything's good. So no, that messed up. I'm going to cut this part and redo it. 
Anyway, stay positive, be kind to everyone around you, be brave, and love yourself.